story to tell. Uh, well, the whole time that I lived in Oklahoma and Texas, three years in a row, my car was destroyed of by course, hail. Of course. And three I hate hearing that sound. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Just wanted you to know. <laughs> we'll replace your car, but uh, take a look. Uh, see what's brewing here. For us, it's going to all be about wind. A little bit of rain, too, and that's good because it helps settle some of the dust. I noticed they're already ramping up dust advisories, but uh, truly, if there's enough rain to help settle some of that, that won't be the biggest issue just yet. But, you know, you get some of those dry creek beds. Oh, yeah, they'll blow a lot of dust around with some of this wind coming into the picture. So uh, take a look at temperatures. You knew it was going to be a, a mild start. That's exactly what we were anticipating. We'll probably end the day off in the 70s most areas, but wind has been, been up and down and, and up this morning, but down now, but it'll be back up again, I assure you. So that's what we're anticipating is it to get much stronger through the area. Uh, so a uh, forecast gusts. when I told you uh, upcoming winds going to be even more impressive and I'm talking toward weeks end. look at this Thursday, Friday, we're planning on them ramping up and I'm being actually very conservative about these numbers right now. Tomorrow they will still be strong, still a wind advisory through late morning. We drop off on Wednesday, but we throw back those big winds and uh, the next system through will be a stronger system. Maybe it'll bring us a little more rain, but these aren't real rainmaker systems a little bit. Sure. Might get a quick 15 minute shower but beyond that they slip out to the east pretty quickly and that's exactly what we're seeing in other areas seem to get the snow out of that like cedar city and down through zion getting some of the rain there so future cast not impressive as a matter of fact it clears things out pretty well but the wind will be ramping up a little bit more for tonight you can see we're not talking about rain tomorrow we're talking about it all being about the wind and it'll be a whirlwind week and a north to south low will keep the winds quite strong down the colorado river valley so plan on that here's the next seven days and i'll show you what i mean by that so a stray shower in by the end of the week again with that next system, but it's a much uh, more of a wind maker than anything else. So windy tomorrow, break on Wednesday, windy, windy, windy. Look at that. Everyone knows it's windy and might even pull out a stray shower for the weekend. And boy, I'll tell you, those temperatures really start to ramp up. That would be another big story, but it's going to all be about the wind, but we're going to warm things up a little bit by the end of the week as well. Back to you, Carla.